stuff came back in it the is. area it today. Did. How about that? The temperatures back up near the 90 degree mark in many locations. Add to that some moisture in the atmosphere, and it's a good old sweltering day again. 91 degrees right now at the airport out in Frederick County, 88 up at the Carroll County Airport near Westminster. 82, a little cooler up at Stewartstown. Gettysburg's at 83. A more comfortable weather pattern out west as far as temperatures go, but they're dealing with scattered showers and storms out there. So we've got the drier weather with hot temperatures here, lower temperatures with storms out in the mountains to our west. This is the key for the day. Yesterday, when we looked at this map, some spots had dew points in the 50s. It felt a whole lot more comfortable, but you push that dew point up into the 70s, and that means there's a lot of more water vapor in the atmosphere, and it makes it hard to cool off. So it is a muggy day, and this is what it feels like. On human skin, feels like 98 degrees at Frederick, 90 at Chestertown, 90 at Ridgely, 93 is the current heat index up at Westminster. Stifling day, and that is fueling a few storms in the mountains, especially west of I-81 down into uh, the Panhandle of West Virginia, and Central Virginia around Richmond. These are kind of drifting over toward the lower part of the Potomac, maybe get into far southern Maryland, but for now. Just looks like partly cloudy skies around the Baltimore area for the rest of this evening. And temperatures above normal, 65 to 72 degrees. Winds light mostly out of the south. Sunset coming up at 732. The area of high pressure that brought the comfortable weather in yesterday, well, it slipped off the coast, and that means the wind starts swinging back around to the south, and there's plenty of heat and humidity ready to pour in. Look at these temperatures in the 90s all across the Mississippi River Valley. And a front coming into that hot, humid air, too. That combination, warm, moist air and a front, will bring increasing chances for thunderstorms into our picture beginning tomorrow afternoon and taking us right into the weekend. 84 to 89 tomorrow. Afternoon storms become more likely. Winds out of the south at 6 to 12. You're going to be on the bay. Keep an eye on the sky for those scattered storms. But for most of the day, waves averaging out around a foot. Tropical Atlantic still looks pretty good. Not anticipating any development here in the next couple of days, even though we are at the peak of the hurricane season. The quiet September conditions are good. In the Pacific, it's been a much more active season, and we are continuing to monitor the progress of Hurricane Norbert. 90 mile an hour winds, healthy uh, hurricane. These uh, satellite imagery now is overlaid on the water temperatures. Notice the cooler greens up here along the California coast. The forecast track takes this hurricane up into that cooler water. And so while it has 90 mile an hour winds now, it is forecast to steadily weaken, but it may well curve up towards Southern California, and that would actually be good news. It'd probably have some flood problems, but I think they'll take the rain in some of those drought stricken areas of California if we can get this system to bend on up into California sometime early next week. Insta Weather Plus forecast then for the region 88 degrees tomorrow, a muggy day with a thunderstorm. Showers and storms are likely on Saturday, but the good news is it clears out. Sunday's looking better and better for football. Partly cloudy skies, Sunday's high 78. Nice.